Now the first step to fix it is take a look at the email itself. Check the size. Large attachments are a very common trigger, especially when the files are shared directly. That is, not through a link that actually takes you to Drive. Instead of sharing through cloud links, file type matters too. Executable, script, or anything that looks unsafe will almost always cause rejection. Next, review the content. Emails packed with links, aggressive formatting, or overly promotional language can raise red flags. Poor HTML structure or unusual encoding can also trigger security cuters, even if the message itself looks harmless to a human. Then comes authentication. Your domain needs to clearly prove that it's allowed to send emails. And that's where SPF, the Kim and the Mark come in. These records tell receiving servers that your email is legitimate and hasn't been tampered with. When you're missing or misconfigured, servers have no reason to trust the message. And finally, reputation matters. If you're saying IP or domain has a history of spam complaints, servers are far more likely to block the messages outright. Now, fixing this error usually means tightening all those areas at the same time, not just changing one set and hoping for best. 